Hello YouTube, this is Empty Shark 7 here and this is game hunting number one. And what I like to do is while I'm on travel, I like to uh, check out the local game stores in the area and also the local thrift stores to see if I can get uh, good deals on video games to add to my video game collection. And I usually, once I, usually when I first get in the hotel room, I usually go on uh, Google Maps, and since it's linked to my Gmail account, I'll we'll, um, check out the area and then I go on the maps and add whatever game stores I want to check out and star them so I can use my GPS to check them out. So I uh, found a few couple game stores I stopped by yesterday. <clears throat> uh, the first place I stopped by was Radical Gaming, and... I went in the plaza and I couldn't find the store at all. So I saw a record store. It was kind of like an like a tunes store. They had records and books. So I was like, oh, let me check this place out. Maybe they might know what where they're located. And I go in and ask the coworker, and he tells me that they went out of business and says it sucks because they sold good games and they had good deals. I'm like, oh, that sucks. And and uh, I was like, well, do you guys have any video games? And they were like, yeah, we do. So I checked out uh, their selection of games, and I picked up three of them, all for a good price. Everything is complete in box. So, uh, yeah, I picked up uh, a couple of PlayStation games. I got this one, Space Channel 5 Special Edition. Hmm. Complete in box as oh, both discs, and I apologize for the uh, everything is uh, backwards because I'm using the reverse cam. I uh, should have. I actually bought a stand for my phone, but uh, I left it at home. I guess next time I go and travel out to bring it. it's small, so it doesn't really take up much luggage space. But yeah, right now I'm like just kind of ghetto. It just Leaning against my computer. Right. Oh, well, what can you do? And I got, uh, next up I got Tekken 5. I always thought I had this game in my collection and never picked it up. And then I just, uh, recently added, I, uh, all my, uh, video games I keep, um, Excel spreadsheets of. And, uh, I finally have everything uploaded to Google Drive, so, well, like, if I'm out in the wild, I can just go on my phone, go on the Google Drive app, and then open up my PlayStation 2 spreadsheet and realize I didn't have it. I have the fourth one, so now I got the fifth one. And the last uh, game I got at that store was uh, Manhunt. I think I played this for Xbox, but I have no idea what the hell to do in it. Maybe I'll look on... Uh YouTube there to see if someone knows how to play the game. Probably not. And then uh, the next place I stopped at was Cool Stuff, which they actually have a really good selection of games, and their their prices were really cheap. And I was kicking myself in the ass because I saw a copy of Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate for Super Nintendo for 10 bucks, And it was basically the same condition mine was in, and I just, I have mine I just picked up last week I got on eBay. I think I paid like 16 bucks. So I basically got ripped off $6 there. What a load of shit that was. So, uh, yeah, I picked up a ton of shit. And I got a bunch of, uh, you know, start off with the Nintendo games. I got original Duck Hunt, which I'll probably never play since I don't own a CRT anymore. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't have the actual game itself, so I figured I'd pick that up. A cheap $3 game. And uh, next up I got uh, Joust. Now if you couldn't get enough of the Atari version, now you can play it on your Nintendo. Which I think the controls are a lot worse than the Atari one. I don't know. And, and this is a... Uh, my first Camerica game in my collection, I got four Quattro Sports. I like how their uh, cases are nice and shiny. This is a nice uh, gold, shiny uh, cartridge here. 
and it's by, uh, they all say it's by Codemaster, so I don't know if can American Codemasters, like, work together on this? I don't know. There's that as the infamous uh, switch, position A, position B. Probably do the same goddamn thing. And uh, for Super Nintendo, I finally picked up a Super Game Boy. So now I don't have to rummage through and find my uh, Game Boy Color to play my classic Game Boy games. I can just pop this in the Super Nintendo. <clears throat> so that's all I... Oh yeah, there's... Oh god, there's more stuff. I'm starting to get tired here. And I got a... Uh, Doom 3 BFG Edition for PlayStation 3. And that's complete too. I probably, I definitely checked this one out. I always wanted to play this again. I really, I played through that, played the hell out of it on the Xbox, so I think I'll see how it is on the PlayStation 3. Probably, I'm sure it has hands graphics and also trophies. You know, the, the trophy whore that I am, I always good to get those. And I, for, I got an Xbox exclusive, I got Crazy Taxi 3, High Roller. And this is boxing complete as well. Never played this game, so next time I hook up the Xbox, I would have to give that a shot. In the next uh, four years. <laughs> I don't even know where the heck it is. It's in one of my closets. And I picked up for Xbox 360 Mass Effect 3. I never picked this up because I always heard uh, mixed reviews of it. Everyone said it was bad, and some people said it was good. I had the first two, and I loved the hell out of them. But, um, yeah, I definitely have to check that out whenever I decide to hook up my Xbox 360. And then, um, I went, today I went to a couple of thrift stores. Since yesterday I went to the game stores, I figured today I'll check out the thrift stores. So, I just picked up a couple of things. Uh, the one thrift store didn't have much of anything, so... I was just rummaging through their cables and came across, like, three things. So, this thing I found, I got the Atari uh, plug-and-play uh, TV games joystick. It had batteries in it, and I tested it on the TV over here, but it, uh, I guess the batteries were too low. It wouldn't produce any a signal on the television. So, took out the batteries, and when I get home, I'll try and uh, put fresh batteries in and test it out. And I picked up two uh, AV cables. One is the gold. This is the gold plated. This is the regular plated ones. And they were like two bucks each. So that was that one uh, thrift store. And then the next thrift store, uh, I was looking through their DVDs selection. They had the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube games and a couple of Wii games, but their cases were all broken. It wasn't even worth picking up. But uh, I found this. This is a game. The only GameCube game they have, and it's brand new. NBA Courtside 2002. It's still sealed. I this is like the first time I ever seen a brand new uh, GameCube game. It's kind of like has a little tear right there, but it's no big deal. I guess I'll tape that so it doesn't tear even more, but. That's pretty cool. That was like, I think that was like three bucks. Oh, uh, well, for a brand new game, I'll definitely take it. And I guess the rest were like a dollar, dollar fifty something. So, for PlayStation 2, I got Madden 2005. Fear the D. And there's that. And I got two more Xbox exclusives. I got NBI Inside Drive 2002. And this one is in a replacement, is in a DVD case, which I guess they replaced, but the case is still broken. It's like, let's see, it's busted. So, I, I mean, I have plenty of extra DVD cases. I have to just replace them when I get home. No big deal. And uh, last on the list is uh, Top Spin for Xbox. So, yeah, I figured I'd do the video in my hotel room since 
I'm on travel I'm in my element here for the time being and I was gonna I was debating about making a video when I got home but it's just gonna be so busy with me trying to unpack my luggage and dealing with my daughter and then my two dogs and my girlfriend she's going away on Saturday so I was thinking about doing it then but it's gonna be too much of a hassle so I figured might as well get it done here get the video out so yeah that's that um I don't think I got anything else. Uh, yes, I mean it's Wednesday here, so I can't really say have a good weekend. I guess have a good day Thursday. And this, well, anyway, this is Empty Shark Seven signing out.